Hi guys, it's Maria here. Welcome back to my channel. This channel is about bags, lifestyle and fashion by mostly bags. I post videos every Friday, sometimes Wednesday. I'm always on a hunt for the perfect bag. If you are like me, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit notification bell and let's enjoy bags together. One of my bags new year resolution for the year 2023 is to broaden my horizons and look at the different types of bags rather than my usual mini micro bags. I said to myself, Maria, you're missing out so much. There is so many different types of bags and you are stuck with your mini micro bags. And that's why my first review of year 2023 is going to be about the completely different type of bag. And it's a Louis Vuitton on the go tote bag in MM size, where MM stands for Moem model in French and translate as medium size. As you know, this beautiful tote bag also comes in PM, petite model, small size, and GM, grand model, big size. We're going to talk today about the medium size. And as always, I'm going to give you in-depth review. I will tell you what I like and dislike about this bag and show you more shots how I would wear this bag. Louis Vuitton On The Go bag is extremely popular and it was first released in 2019, a year after another very, very popular tote bag has been released in 2018 and I'm talking about Dior Book Tote. There are some similarities between those two bags and I'm going to mention quite a few of them throughout this video, but if you want me to do the full comparison video between Louis Vuitton On The Go tote bag and Dior book tote. Please let me know in the comments below. I promise I will do. The first thing that I really like about Louis Vuitton on the go tote bag is that rectangular shape. It's very simplistic, but very unique at the same time. And eye-catching, I would say. And the second thing is that reversed monogram situation. So we have the light monogram, enhanced one, on the one side, then on the other side, it's a darker side of the bag with an enhanced monogram as well. On the side, we have a different colors of monogram and they're just a regular size. And then on the handle, it's a mini version of the monogram, again, in contrasting colors. As you can see, it's a dark canvas against the light beige and the dark against the light beige again. But the part that I like the most in this reversed monogram situation here, and that's what shows the real craftsmanship and the quality of Louis Vuitton. Look at that. The part when the two canvases, dark and beige light, comes together, you can see that the both parts of the monograms perfectly matching. So it's not the mismatch situation or when the one part of the monogram is misplaced, you can see they coming together perfectly. Another unique detail are those tiny little attachments which attached to the corners of the bag and I believe it's just to um, increase durability of the bag and protect those corners for the wear and tear. Very smart move. Inside the bag, we have a one big hole, in my case, with a red lining, and we have a large zipped pocket and tiny little pockets on the side as well, attached to the zip pocket. Apart from that, it's a one big hole, increasing the capacity of the bag to the maximum. I know loads of people using some organizers and inserts for their bags and also they help to protect the lining of the bag because you can imagine when you have a, such a large capacity you are trying to put as much as possible inside your bag and sometimes those belongings start licking or you know crumbling and I'm talking about some food and the, the pens and stuff like that you know so I think it would be a great idea to wear this bag with the inserts or organizers will protect the lining as well. And if we're talking about the capacity, that's the part that I really like about the Louis Vuitton on the go uh, tote bag in the MM size. 
and watch that. I have a laptop here, 13 inches, and it goes perfectly inside the bag. Whatever side you want on the side, there is a pocket, zip pocket on, on the other side, which doesn't have any pocket, you know, but because of the structure of the bag, this laptop, it just goes inside this alcove perfectly and sits there very tightly, even without any organizers or inserts or even without laptop cover. Look at that, it's just sitting there perfectly and you can wear that on your shoulder, in your hands, and the laptop is not going to wobbly schmobbly inside the bag at all. And that makes, in my opinion, Louis Vuitton on the go bag in the medium size, the perfect office bag if you have to carry your laptop in and out the office. And since I'm holding those straps in my hand, let's talk about them. So as you can see, the bag comes with uh, two handles, short, perfect, to keep the bag in your hands, to carry it that way, or on the crook of your arm, they are large enough. But also bag has two longer straps to wear that as a shoulder bag. The thing that I don't like about them is that they are just a contrasting black color. I've seen it before that the previous versions of the on the go bag was coming with a matching, um, you know, canvas straps. And I probably would prefer it that way. It's just a kind of like, I don't, I don't know, to me, this black is just coming from nowhere, if you know what I mean, because we don't have any black going through anywhere on exterior of the bag and then those like just the black handle handles to me it looks like that the canvas straps weren't good enough and weren't durable enough and probably due to the capacity of the bag people were putting so much inside the bag that the canvas straps would snap and that's why they changed them for those leather straps Okay, it's time to put it down and take the laptop out because let's be honest, it's pretty heavy. I can I can feel like my shoulders are <laughs> working out there and my arms as well. And if we're talking about the weight of the bag, it's 800 grams, absolutely empty. And to be honest with you, I thought before I actually weigh it, I thought it was it would be much less, I thought it would be around 500 grams because it feels that way and usually canvas is lighter than the actual leather. But surprisingly, it's 800 grams, which I would say a bit like, not on the heavy side, it's heavy for me because I usually tend to wear and carry my micro bags, but for the tote bag, I would say it's around the average weight limit. The handle drop, those long straps is 24 centimeters. When I looked at this bag at the very first time, I was like, oh, perfect. I'm quite a small person. I'm only 5'3", 163 centimeters tall. It's going to be perfect for me. I will suit to any season. And guys, guess what? When I tried this bag with my large puffer jacket and you know like how your oversized jackets are quite in fashion just now but mine is not like ridiculously oversized when you are like 5 10 <laughs> sizes more than you actually are not like that but just a regular like kind of chubby puffer jacket on the oversized slightly oversized side this straps weren't long enough for me to wear that on my shoulder and it was I was struggling to get it on and then I could see how it's like my jacket was like bulking up and the hair wasn't comfortable at all. And I was actually unpleasant surprised because I thought 24 centimeters will be absolutely perfect even with a winter outwear. Unfortunately not. If we're going to look back inside the bag, we, are, we will see that closure situation here and that's a traditional Louis Vuitton lock we've got here so we can do like that and lock the bag. Not a fan of that, I'm going to be honest with you, not a fan of that and the reason for this, I don't feel it's quite secure. Because you're putting so much inside the bag, 
it's so easy to sneak in there and steal something, especially when you are in the public places. And because you are, when it's a, a spring season, you know, summer season, and you wear that on your shoulder, kind of like even like this, I'm going to show you more on the mod shots, obviously, but kind of like that. And the bag is sticking out there. You can see that it's a pretty easy to get, get in there, especially when you have the bag stuffed up, up till the top. So as you can see, it's not the most secure situation here. However, as we know, the Dior book toy bag doesn't have any closure at all. So thank you, Louis Vuitton, at least for this one. The Dior book toy is just a completely open. If we're talking about canvas, as you know, canvas, Louis Vuitton canvas is pretty durable. That bag will last you for ages and you won't see any scratches and it's resistant to any spillage outside the bag and the marks. The corners in the perfect condition, those corners are protected as I mentioned before, those little additional details on both sides. And again, unfortunately I wouldn't be able to show you, but believe me, on those tiny little studs over here, on every single side, because you can see they are double, kind of like a sided. We have a Louis Vuitton branding. It's like hardly can, you can hardly see that, but believe me, it's there. It's beautiful and I mention that all the time, but I love this tiny little luxury branding details throughout the luxury item. And if we talk about your book tote, their canvas, their material is not really good in the sense of wear and tear. Guys, I've seen the Dior toy bag after two or three years and it looks a bit tired. Unlike Louis Vuitton on the go toy bag. The only thing that I mention here, and it could be just in relation to this particular bag or it's a problem for all on-the-go bags and their canvas. Please, if you're aware of that and you know why, mention that in the comments below. And this is what I'm talking about. The canvas, after some time of wear and tear, in this particular case, it's a year and a half, 18 months, the canvas went a little bit wavy. So as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see that that way, but let me just show you the bag like this. Can you see that now? How wavy it's become. It's not flat, it's not straight, you know, and it just shows age of the bag. And I think it's time to move on to the mod shots. I'm going to show you how I would wear Louis Vuitton on the go tote bag and MM size. In this mod shots, guys, I want to show you how Louis Vuitton on the go tote bag and MM size looks on me. I'm 5'3", 163 centimeters tall, and I usually wear size 10 UK. Bag does not have any long, long strap, which does not allow you to wear the bag crossbody. My favorite way, unfortunately. But the bag has a long straps, non-removable, non-adjustable, which allows you to wear that on the, your shoulder, right or left. Unfortunately, 24 centimeter drop didn't allow me to wear the bag with a chunky winter wear, like a puffer jacket. But I believe if you wear that as with just a regular jacket or with a coat, that'd be perfectly fine. For me, the most use I've got out of the bag was with the top handles. And I was wearing that in my hands or on the crook of my arm. To conclude guys, I just want to say that in my opinion, Louis Vuitton on the go MM size tote bag is amazing. Perfect bag for everyday life. It's big enough to fit in all your essentials. It's even big enough for your laptop. So that would be perfect for your office and also run some errands and go shopping. It's not super heavy. I would say it's just kind of like on the medium range there in the sense of the weigh limit. And at the same time, it's very versatile. What I mean here, we have quite a loud 
enhanced monogram there. But because of this reversed monogram situation, it's actually kind of like, in my opinion, calming the whole monogram scream a little bit down. And that's why, in my opinion, this bag looks really well and fits really well with anything what you wear in your everyday life or office life. I would even say it's double your wardrobe because you have a darker and a lighter monogram situation here. There are a few things that I dislike which I mentioned throughout the video and one of them that the bag in my opinion is not super secure but then I mentioned also that the Dior tote bag doesn't have any closure at all so at least here we have a traditional Louis Vuitton closure and I also mentioned that the straps the additional straps, they're not detachable and they are in the contrast black color, which doesn't go throughout the bag at all. But overall guys, as I said, it's a perfect everyday tote bag. Maybe not for me. <laughs> Maybe I'm a still a massive fan of my micro bags and maybe I will try the same version of the tote bag in PM size, which starts from the petite model and I will report to you. For me, that will be a pass, unfortunately, but for you, if you're a massive fan of the tote bags, I would strongly recommend that. And that's me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know where to find the thumbs ups. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you next time. Bye.